the action continues on here at BMF Juniors. This, a 46 kilogram MMA contest. Mia Sefton fighting out of the blue corner. She represents one MMA. She's in the black shorts with the black and red t-shirt as she takes on KB Santa Mallorca's Lola Ray in the multicolored two-piece. Nice front teep straight away from Lola Ray. And some, uh, some nice straight punches to the body by Mia Sefton. Lola. Yeah, she's gonna have to deal with that range. Yeah, and, she? and Lola's using that well. And as soon as Sefton moved in, Lola changed levels. Yeah, really good job all the way out and then all the way in. Lovely work by Lola Ray. Looking to slice over it, the mount. I thought she was looking for the neon belly for a moment, but happy to consolidate that side control. Yeah, taking her time, not rushing here. And oh, jumping and straight to over back. to the back. And brings around. And so she's got a little bit of time to work as she's chasing that choke. Yeah, Good just, composure from young Mia Sefton there. Yeah, just staying very, very patient. Hand fighting. She's going to want to try and get her shoulders flat to the mat so that she can try, try to Ooh, escape. But much easier said than under done. Now. And she's got the arm trapped as well. Oh, that, that looks tight. It's close, but there's just enough and space. Just look at the composure on the face of Mia Sefton here. Yeah. There, there's no sense of panic. No, totally unfazed. She's focused on what she has to do to survive oh, in this moment. No, oh, she's still got a little bit of room to move there. Oh, and tries to use that bridge to oh, create some room, but that that's getting tighter that and tighter. That is getting tighter every second. I don't know, I've done a few tap out challenges in my past and I would have tapped out long ago. Oh, needs to be careful with crossing her ankles there. She might be exposing herself to an ankle lock, which Mia Sefton's trying to take advantage of. I mean, that's a, not, not wasting a ton of energy in the squeeze. And really good work there. Just at the end of the round, she managed to get over the hooks and get it to mount where she would be safe from that choke. Yeah. Really good defending by Mia Sefton. Yeah, it's a, a, a dominant round though for, for Lola Ray, but Mia Sefton doing everything to keep herself in this fight. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're gonna have to score that one for Lola Ray, but some really good technique shown on both sides. Ray, with, again, working behind that length, long front kicks. I mean, her change of level was lovely. Yeah, really, really nice, because it's always very difficult as the shorter fighter. You, There's an extent to which you have to lunge in a little bit to get close, and she took advantage of that absolutely perfectly, shot a beautiful double leg, and nearly finished this fight. And corners, both young ladies in the corner, listening intently. That's a great first round for the KB Center Mallorca fighter, Lola Ray. But Mia Sefton is definitely in this one still. Yeah, both fighters looking very focused, calm, collected. Cage door closed. Round two of potential three. Here we go. Touch, <laughs> touch of gloves and then goes for the low kick yeah, straight away. immediately. Yeah, nice roundhouse to the body there. Gets that body clenching. Another lovely takedown by Straight Lola Ray. The, again, look oh. at the flex of... I, I think she is going for a buggy choke here. No! Yeah, that is a buggy choke. She has got that set up right now. So what's the... I would have no clue how to defend this. What so does she have to do, Lola? Uh, so uh, you want to try and get your... So the arm that is currently through that's being used to choke her like a triangle, she wants to try and get that elbow back and get it on the body to create space. Um, or, alternatively, as she's doing, she the can belly. pry the neon belly on to create that leverage. But it's very, very difficult when your head and arm are locked in there. And yeah, Mia Sefton has got this. She just needs to to tighten it up a little bit Good. and turn in towards Lola Ray. Now, is, it, is that because Lola Ray's pressure is pushing forward, is stopping? I, I think that's buying her a little bit of time. It, it might also be that there's a little bit more space between her, her shoulder and her neck. But as Mia Sefton turns in, that will tighten that all up and the choke will come and, on a lot faster. And again, if, you know, again, you're hoping the judge's cake, like you, you've got to be scoring this for the fighter on bottom, right? Yeah, I mean this this is a 
a, a pretty deep submission attempt. Um, it, it, it might be unusual. Uh, people are, are not used to seeing buggy chokes in MMA. No. Are you allowed to... Oh, I should probably have checked this before. Knees to the body would probably loosen that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Kn knees to the body would be good here. Um, also, of course, it, it does, it, maybe not relevant for this rule set, but in the pros, you are very susceptible to being slammed from a buggy choke. But I, I think you've got to give that, that to a round something. E? That could be a round each. That's absolutely phenomenal. And again, once they established it, once they established a position, they were able to maintain it. Again, low in the first round, top position, but locked up in that buggy choke attempt. And Mia Sefton making it very, very clear that, you know, you, it, it, there is nothing for free when you take her down. Absolutely. She is dangerous from the bottom. We'll see if that ch changes what Lola Ray's outlook is. However, again, at the start of the round, she works behind that ring so well. She uses those natural advantages really well. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see if did, who did the choke attempt affect worse? Was it... Is, is Lola Ray a little bit fatigued yeah, from fighting off tired. that choke? Yeah. Or, yeah, or is Mia Sefton gassing herself out from trying to squeeze on it? Well, we've got two minutes left to separate these two young athletes. Mia Sefton, the one MMA prospect fighting out of the blue corner, the black shorts, the black t-shirt with red trim. And Lola Ray, the KB Center Mallorca fighter in the multicolored short, short, shorts and shirt. I will speak English soon. And off we go. Yeah, I'm so interested round. to see who can kind of put the stamp on this round. Nice. Nice combination by Mia Sefton and some feints. And lunging push kick from Lola Ray there. And another one gets caught. Oh, uh -oh. lovely takedown. And now, Lola Ray side control just pops straight over. And yeah. this is what we saw in the first. Oh, Trying to hunting for the back, I think. Trying to get that chair sit potentially, but instead, oh no, Hammers yeah. away at the body. Can she get the hooks in? She's got one and she's got two. And now she's got a little bit of time and Sefton's gonna have to hand fight, look perhaps to turn into her opponent if she can. Yeah, she wants to try and get her head to the other side of Lola Ray's head and then get her shoulders flat to the mat. Did you see Lola Ray there? Look, just look straight over to her corner. She's right there. She's taking the advice. Ooh. She really is looking to tighten up, lock up this choke. She is, that looks close. Oh, just a little bit of space. Oh, that looks that tight. Look, does look tight, but look, working to peel off the top hand. Mia Sefton in all sorts oh. of trouble here. But can no quit at all with yeah. this young lady. It's amazing. And there's, oh, the, and there's tap. the tap. Just a, the adjustment made by Lola Ray. And what an incredible fight from these two young ladies. Beautiful work. What a fight. There was clearly a, a high level of grappling skill on both sides, but Lola Ray able to secure her takedown. And once she got to the back, it was... Uh, it was all, all Lola Ray. Well, the never, ever, never give up message all over her was on display here. A great first round, didn't go her way in the second, came out in the third and took the rear naked choke. But I want to take nothing away from the opponent, Mia Sefton. Again, a first round where you were essentially on bottom for a minute and a half could have absolutely destroyed where your brain, not her. And then, and then a junior throwing up buggy chokes, unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Seth Khan will make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give both fighters a round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 39 seconds of the third round, your referee, Mr. Simon Stadnitsky, calls a stop to the fight, declaring your winner by rear naked Joe Lola Ray. Please show your appreciation for Mia Sefton.